Our legacy isn't how many commas we have in our bank account. It's who we're lucky enough to have in our lives and what we can leave them with. Henry, remind me again why we can't put you in a gifted school. Because it's better for my psychosocial development for me to interact with a peer group in a normal school environment. Oh, yeah. There's a, a prodigy named Henry, 12 years old. He's spectacular. And he has a younger brother who's, who's a 10-year-old who he's close with. And he's, he's being raised by a single mom who is wonderful at being a mom. She's an incredible mother. But he's like the adult in the house. He basically runs the house. He runs the investments. And he's amazing when it comes to everything except when it comes to talking to the next door neighbor who's a 12 year old girl who he's in love with. And we're gonna discover that something pretty horrific is happening next door. And it might be something that's beyond even his boundary and ability to fix. And that's the start of a story that's gonna set us on our way of figuring out how this mom who's this wonderful, warm mother but is really almost being parented by her 12 year old starts a journey that will, that will lead her into becoming sort of a legitimate adult for the first time in her life because she's been able to rely on her kid. Susan, I guess I could just set you up a direct deposit if that's easier. I, I don't know. I'll have to ask Henry. You have to ask your 11-year-old? Did our financial statement come in the mail today? Yeah, I forgot to give it to you. I don't know how you do it all by yourself. Come on, I have Henry. Find me another male of the species who's more grown up than him. I'd like to. I wrote the first draft of this 18 years ago, so it's almost like I grew up with this story in my head. Um, and in a weird way, it's, it has all my enthusiasm and energy of youth. And then along the years, I've rewritten it. So like I, the, the things that I've learned along the way, I've been able to bring to it and kind of, you know, when I first wrote, I didn't have any kids. You know, and then once I had kids, I went back and looked at the scenes between mother and the kids and was able to update them for the things that I learned as a parent. So it's, I feel like this story's been living inside me for 18 years. This story, it's about me, my brother, my mom, and the girl who lived next door. Henry and Peter, they're lucky to have you. And your father's lucky to have you too. Stepfather. Jacob's just amazing. Like, you know, it's, it's gonna be an embarrassment of riches in the editing room um, because he's, he's so good you know, take after take. And so there's this great energy because I feel like Jaden is so mature for his age and he's so thoughtful and, and, and pensive and interesting, but can get really playful because the boys have a great thing. And Jacob is just this ball of energy and, and inadvertent charm. You okay? I'm good. Mom, I have to tell you something and it's very important. Christine is in trouble. Maddie is, you know, that that Sia Chandelier video is like, it, it's, it's one of the best dance performances I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I think that, that piece of casting and that was Colin's, Colin's idea and he sent me the video and I saw it and, and then I just watched it again and again and again. And it's like, you almost can't believe what she can convey at her age emotionally through dancing. And it's this weird thing where I was joking with Colin the other day where I said, I, the way that she fits into the script for Christina, I, I said it's almost like I wrote and we designed this whole script as a vehicle for Maddie Ziegler. I mean, it's like, it's so bizarre that this one role that runs through it is, it just seems so suited to her. Mr. Sickleman is the police commissioner. I'm not gonna subject him to public scrutiny without conclusive evidence. I lie awake and watch it all. Do this. Part of what it is is to have like a, a really unbelievable emotional experience and connection with this family and what they go through and with these characters um, and, and how they change and grow through circumstances that are painful. There has to be another way to help Christina. Why there? 